Welcome back S2. So what we are planning to do in this video is again a bit of a reminder of something we did during the year which was to do with percentages and percentage increases. Um, so hopefully this is a reminder um, but I'm going to lay out all your work and so you can see it again as a refresher. So we're increasing by 18%. Now if we're finding 18% we just multiply, we turn this into a decimal 0 0.18 like we did last week. But here we're increasing. So the very first thing we have to do is if we have 100% of something and we increase by 18%, that is adding 18%. So that gives us 118% of the original amount, which as a decimal is 1.18 because everything moves two places to the right. Now we can do our increasing 400. So our new amount is 400 times 1.18. We can get our calculator out and do that. I'll bring mine on over here. So we've got 400 times 1.18, which is 472. And that is our answer. Okay, so we've got two steps here. First is to work out the decimal we need to use. And the second one is like everything we we're doing last week where we times our amount by the decimal that we're using. So have a go at the, your turn, pause the video, see whether you can do it. And I'll run through the answer in just a moment. Great, hopefully you paused that and have had a go. So your first step should have been to do 100% plus 25%. And that gives you 125% or the decimal 1.25. Now we take our amount, which is 320, and we times it by 1.25. Well, what does that give us? No, my calculator's gone wrong. What does that give us? Well, that is 320 times 1.25, which is 400 pounds as our, oh, as our finishing amount of money. So 400 pounds is our answer. Now I've got two more examples to do for you. And these examples are very slightly different. I'm gonna do one. So again, we're increasing, but by 5% this time, it looks a little different. So I'm just going to run through that. So 100% plus 5% is 105%. We'll turn that into a decimal. We get 1.05 as our decimal. Once we've got that, everything else is the same. So we're doing 80 times 1.05. And bring the calculator in for that. We've got 80 times 1.05, which is 84 pounds. Again, pause the video, have a go, and I'll run through this one in just a moment. Okay, hopefully you've had a go with that. So here we have 100% and we're adding on 2%, which should give you 102% or 1.02. Once you've got that number, you can do 150 times 1.02. Well, again, bring in our calculator, 150 times 1.02, and we get 153 pounds. Okay, so I've seen here how to do a percentage increase where it's um, a two-digit percentage and with a one digit percentage. That should be enough to get you cracking on the questions. Have a go and see how you get on.